hold a cold one like he hold an old gun Like he hold the microphone and stole the show for fun Or a foe for ransom Flows is handsome, O's in tandem Anthem, random, tantrum Phantom of the grand old Opry Act the dumb hottie, mask Somebody stop me Hardly come I'm Mayor Ed Malloy And uh, we're doing a little bit something different uh, this evening We are going to be pre-recording some material regarding our Fairfield Beautification Commission and the efforts in our downtown for the coming year. This will be uh, put together with some of the projects that we're doing around town this year that we're very excited about. Joining me this uh, evening is uh, one of the co-chairs of our Beautif Beautification Commission, Nancy Horace, and also one of the uh, board members, uh, Moni Hain. And uh, Moni is our newest uh, commission member of beautification, has been doing a great job with us. And uh, now, ladies, we just finished our Street Sweepers Ball this past weekend. I was out of town, unable to make it, the first one that I've missed. How did we do this weekend? We did great. Uh, I think we had a little over 70 participants that came, and we worked for two hours, and we really, I think, you know, accomplished a lot in that amount of time. Um, I don't know if the citizens have been out and about walking down the alleys and behind the, the buildings, but uh, you can definitely see um, a nice change. Yes, the, the alleys certainly look a lot nicer when you're walking down um, through the alleys, and I think for art walks it's going to look a lot nicer. Yeah, when I got back into town on Saturday afternoon, the first thing I did was go downtown, and it just after we do this, it's just as, it's as if it's gleaming, you know, with as, as, as good as it can. So uh, we're, we're hoping to really be able to spruce it up even more when we add some new elements and things that will really give it a shine, uh, then I think we'll be even more proud of it. It does take that winter dinge and it does. dust off of things, so it does look a little nice. It really does. And, and, and I think we've, you know, we've had between 75 and 100 people each time that we've done it, so this is... Uh, great follow through, I think. And I think uh, considering there was um, a lot of things going on that Saturday, May is always yes. a bad, May is always a bad time, but, uh, and with, there was a, the 224th uh, celebration, exactly. there was also the chamber garage sale that was going on. But um, actually I think it, it really worked well because there was just lots of activity on the square and I think the merchants also you know, were you know thrilled to have all of the activity, and uh, so anyway, it, it did end up being good. The weeds were not nearly as tall as they were in July okay. last year, okay. uh, and the workers really appreciated that, and also the fact it was a lot cooler than it was last year when we right. did it in July. So, um, you know, we wanted to tie it in with the Earth Day. Um, we couldn't quite make that, which would have been at the end of April. Um, I think next year we're probably going to shoot to do it at that time instead of May, just because May does get to be really, really hectic. Uh, and people really did enjoy the fact that it was a lot cooler than what it was last year. So we'll maybe try to coordinate that. And uh, so if there's any citizens out there that want to maybe help next year, uh, put that date on your calendar. Good. Now, what other, uh, what other things do the Beautification Commission have planned for this year? I mean, we, we did receive a grant from the Keep Iowa Beautiful uh, foundation, and I know we're going to be using some funds for the underpass on Highway 1 uh, for the Burlington Northern Railroad Bridge. Why don't we talk a little bit about that project? What uh, what stage are we at? What are we going to be doing under there? Um, actually, that is one of the, I think, most exciting things that we have planned for this year. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, it was through Keep Iowa Beautiful. It's a checkoff grant that we received the money. And we chose the railroad overpass on Highway 1 North because we felt it was an area that is not attractive at this point. And with just a lot of elbow grease and some, you know, some landscaping, that it could be a vast improvement. Uh, many, many, many people come through town on that roadway. So it definitely makes a first impression as you're coming into Fairfield. And we just think it could be a, a lot more attractive first impression than what they get now. Um, the, uh, I guess the time frame for that uh, is going to depend a little bit on the construction project that's happening mm -hmm. because we don't want to wait or we don't want to have that done before the resurfacing of the road is done. And so we're probably looking at a fall completion date for that. Okay. Uh, Moni, what would you like to add about that? Well, it's, it's going to be a, a long-term project in that we probably can't afford to do all of the different uh, plantings and we may have to build up some of the walls, landscaping walls for that. 
and that, that will take time to get the structure in first before we can do complete all the plantings. Hopefully we can get some evergreens in first to kind of hide some of the things you don't want to have seen, but also the evergreens will show year round. And so with the year round look, uh, year round um, color, that will help it to start looking nice. And then as funds come in, we can start adding to that with more shrubs and perennials uh, that'll give it color all the way through. That's great. You know, it's great to see us starting to get some projects uh, underway that are outside of our downtown area as well, because our commitment for beautification is really for the entire city. And um, when, uh, when your uh, commission came up with the concept of dividing a lot of the projects into ward-specific uh, areas, that made a lot of sense because you can take an area like that, you can really focus on it and do a beautification project. And uh, I think as we find a lot of places, it has an influence in the whole area. You'll find other people wanting to upgrade uh, some of the things that are around it. So it's great to see that we're moving out of the downtown a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, we've talked a little bit about the downtown as well. The length of the weeds in April and May is, mm -hmm. uh, is, is much easier to deal with than they are in July, but we're also going to make a renewed commitment this year to reminding the downtown merchants um, and property owners that own buildings down there to keep that uh, taken care of maintained uh, throughout the summer and I know the Fairfield Police Department is going to help us do that so we'll be reminding people of their responsibilities to keeping those weeds down so if um, that is the case if you are a property owner in the downtown please just I, I know it's probably an oversight but just taking a little extra look um, as you would with your own lawn uh, every week or ten days to make sure that uh, we're not getting too much growth down there or overgrowth down there Good. That's very exciting. We're yep. very happy to have the, that kind of support, um, and you know we are looking forward to having all that cooperation that we can get right. from that. Right. Good. Now I know we're waiting for some final planning from RDG and Associates of Des Moines mm -hmm. for our downtown improvements, and I know your committee has been involved mm -hmm. with the Fairfield Architectural and Redevelopment Group mm -hmm. that's been helping to uh, steer that along. Uh, any specific things that you see are going to come out of that in terms of a contribution to downtown beautification? Oh my, um, that's very exciting. Uh, I think that uh, you know the monies that we're going to have to use towards uh, doing whatever we do uh, is a significant amount, um, and I just think it's going to be terribly exciting. I think beautification um, is probably at this point, you know, just taking a step back for right now when it comes to any. Um, fixturing and that kind of thing that we had thought about doing in the downtown until we see what the Renaissance Design Group comes up with okay. because the, the whole idea of what they're doing is to help us create a unified look for Fairfield to right. give us a very distinct look when people come in uh, that this is this says Fairfield to them and that really means that we need to coordinate the style of the light fixtures with the style of the uh, benches with the style of the trash containers and signage and we just have to create a whole package and they're the ones that are going to help us do that and then after that's done then I think beautification will be able to see what ways that we can help um, you know augment that and enhance that and so we're very excited about that. Good. Well, you know, you mentioned first impressions, and it is very, very important what kind of impression people get uh, in our community. Now, this past week, we've had two tour buses that have been uh, brought to town by uh, Lucy Ismert and the Convention Visitors Bureau, and uh, these are some of the first uh, groups that are really coming to our community based on new promotion for Fairfield. And both of these tour buses came with the idea of doing something exploratory in Fairfield to see how it felt and how they liked it and if uh, they do uh, they would potentially plan an overnight and come back and again that's the kind of investment that we're making right now in our Convention Visitors Bureau also in our Civic Center to, to have those kinds of attractions that will bring people here for a couple of nights and really get to experience our community. I, wanted, I bring that up because it really is based on an experience. One is an, an overall impression of how it looks, the friendliness of people, um, how we extend ourselves when we do have visitors here, how well prepared we are. This is all a very big part of it and we're all partners in this. And I think that this is the kind of discussion 
that we're going to really have on an ongoing basis to see what roles we all play in creating that overall good experience for Fairfield because that's, that's basically if we're serious about attracting tourism then we have to be serious about creating something that is a you know very high quality experience for people when they come otherwise it'll be somewhat interesting I've yeah. been there done that uh, you know, maybe they don't give a recommendation to other people maybe they don't come back but the more we do to create that uh, beautiful environment mm -hmm. and also to create the service around um, what it is that we have to offer uh, the more we're going to get back mm -hmm. so um, good. Well, I think what we'd like to do now is uh, take a walk uh, into our downtown. I know you're getting ready to do some of the plantings in your uh, in the, the pots that uh, we purchased last year mm -hmm. with uh, some dollars that the city gave for beautification. So uh, why don't we head down there? Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. So we're work we're working on uh, potting up the plants here for the big pots uh, for this season, and um, we've got. A variety of some annuals to, to add lots of color and sort of pick up the color of the hanging baskets that we have hanging around the square. Uh, hopefully you've seen those. And um, the one thing that we wanted to talk about is the fact that this is all uh, planted with just volunteers and then after we get done planting we have volunteers that water them all summer long. And that's a very important uh, part of our job and part of being able to create um, these very nice things to look at in downtown Fairfield is all the volunteers. Um, and Moni, did you have anything else you wanted to say about uh, well, volunteers the, and help? And Yes, we always appreciate volunteers to come down. It's not always easy uh, to coordinate saying, okay, we need volunteers this day because we will be rained out uh, for certain things. but. We can have volunteers that, if they want to pick a grouping of pots and say, I will water these and make sure they stayed watered, whether it's every day or every week, as needed. We also have um, areas like the Alliance site. Um, the Fairfield Beautification Commission was involved in getting that planting done, which is across from Taco John's um, and the um, that railroad area. It's uh, on the south side of the street and there's a big planting area to hide the alliant uh, chain fence that's there. That planting area really needs some care. Trying to weed it, keep it mulched, uh, it takes a lot of time so if we could have volunteers that say okay I will be, take care of that for you or I'll do the spring weeding and mulching or I'll do the fall weeding so anytime there's volunteers we're glad to have help. So uh, I think or that's, even be on a list. Right. That so we could call. I think the message is just anybody out there that's interested in helping do any of this kind of thing, if you could get a hold of um, either myself or if you could call City Hall mm -hmm. and tell the uh, the gals, the secretaries that are in there, that you're interested in volunteering, that would be terrific, and you can help make Fairfield more beautiful. Thanks. Well, I understand there are other projects that uh, you have planned as well this year, and I understand that there was another grant that you received from the Keep Iowa Beautiful Foundation. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, we received, in addition to the uh, checkoff grant, we also received a grant for a paint-a-thon. And so we applied for, I believe we have got 25 gallons of paint, maybe 30. Uh, and we will be selecting a house uh, of a deserving recipient. It has to be a, um, an owner-occupied home uh, that we will be choosing sometime soon uh, that we hope to get painted you know, before the end of the summer. Okay, okay so ha have you decided on uh, what your process is going to be for selecting the home? Are you soliciting um, actually, entries? Actually, no, we haven't, we haven't determined that. We had um, some potential leads that we haven't really explored yet, um, so, and we wanted to talk to the city about what they're doing with their, um, I don't know what it's called, but you had indicated that uh, you may have some additional yeah, We have a people. housing rehabilitation grant right. also that we've gotten from uh, federal government, that's a community betterment uh, develop, development grant. 
And uh, we, I believe, we're going to be selecting 10 homes uh, that will get a lot of major uh, renovation and painting would be a part of it. So mm -hmm. that we could possibly piggyback off of the applications right. that, uh, that we receive. Right. So okay. depending on what you get, you know, if you would get, you know, a, an overflow of applicants that you just couldn't help, then that would be something that we would maybe consider, you know, taking one of those um, extra people okay. and, and awarding the grant to that person. Great. So. Yeah, because this um, this uh, CDBG grant has a very specific application process and we'll be able to, uh, I think, really determine need and the kinds of things that we would want to for people to participate. So we would be happy to help with that. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. And uh, you have um, some other banners planned, I understand? Well, we are in the. We also are in the process of uh, of checking that out to see whether that's uh, going to be a possibility or not. Um, I don't think I'll like show anything yet, just because um, you know. Otherwise, I mean, it could change, you know. And I think it, it's always hard when you show one thing and then you, you end up with something different. Okay. So, uh, but we are looking at getting quotes on banners that would be complementary to the ones that we already have up, and we would be purchasing some additional brackets then. And the idea would just be that you would have the exact same colors being used in the new banners, but with uh, a different combination. They would probably have like a green background, and then they would have the same gold and reddish print over the top. We would alternate them around town, and that way we'd be able to expand out more, and we would put them going down the Highway 34 corridor to create a okay. little bit more of a corridor effect. Um, because we think that would that would really be an inviting again uh, focus to bring you like into town, um, and again those we would like to get done yet this summer so that they can go up with the other ones. Right. It unfortunately it takes like four to six weeks to get those, um, so you know probably we won't get to have them up for a, very long this summer. But that is still something we're looking at. Um, we also just finished hanging the uh, baskets up downtown. Okay. That's an ongoing project that Beautification has done with every year with the Chamber of Commerce. And uh, that is paid for with donations. Uh, that is not a, that does not come out of Beautification's budget and it does not come out of the Chamber budget. So, you know, we're always looking for people to help out with that. Um, and then we will head up town in a little bit uh, to do the pots. We're getting ready to plant the big pots. That's just another project that we have going on. Um, and those sort of complement the, the, flower, the flowering baskets. And, uh, and I guess I also have to just add that in the time that we've had the pots, uh, and then we added additional ones last year, it's been really fun to see how the business owners and the storekeepers around the square have also joined in that and um, I think if you would have looked three years ago there would have been very few extra pots next to the the merchant stores and if you drive around Fairfield today you'll notice many of the shopkeepers had have, have added benches and uh, and flowers to the fronts of their stores and I think that's very exciting it just it does show you know that it's contagious and that's what we want to inspire people um, that's beautifications I guess um, that's sort of our motto is that it's your we role, can, in a sense, if we can, yes sure. yes we want to inspire people um, to you know to do a better job and to, to make Fairfield a, a, a nicer place it does work that way I've noticed there have been some really um, nice uh, transformations of buildings in the, in the downtown square over the last couple of years and I think that when we see someone really take pride in ownership in their mm -hmm. property then uh, others really think and plan to do the same thing so uh, yeah it, it really does build on itself so it's uh, it's it's a great thing um, now I understand you have some other planting projects uh, as well yes and you if Moni's Moni? comfortable maybe I'll defer to Moni um, about the Quest project, have you seen it, Moni? I have not seen the Quest project. Uh, the Quest uh, teacher at the middle school uh, has worked with her students to do a landscaping project at the middle school. And some of that comes from the wards uh, trying to take, you know, do some work in their particular ward areas. And the ward that the middle school is in, I don't remember what number that is, the ward that the middle school is in uh, has decided that the quest these these students that are in the quest program at the middle school uh, would go out and do the planting and I understand it just got finished um, 
in the last day or two, so I have not seen it. Uh, they were out rototilling last I saw, uh, and it, that it really looks nice. So when you go past the middle school, so we think it is planted. That yes, yeah. it's okay, done. I think it's planted. Some food, yeah. for that, uh, and they so. were supposed to be putting in that some perennials and maybe some shrubs also to make it a long term, not just some annuals for the summer, but something that the students can come back and see right. in the fall that they did in the spring. It'll be there in the fall, and next year, you know, they come back after they graduated years later and say, oh, I helped do that. Okay, that's great. So. Now, was that inspired in any way by your committee, or is it something that oh, came from there? It was, yes. Um, actually, somebody on our commission, one of the guests on the commission, lives in that ward, and um, her daughter, I believe, is she in Quest? Somehow, she, somehow she coordinated it with the Quest teacher okay. that this would be a, a good place to use that ward money. Oh, great. So it was the, the money from that ward that was used Excellent. for that. Excellent. So. And we've allocated about how, how much per ward for uh, projects? It was $400, $400 per, per ward. $400 per ward, correct. Right. Do you find that all of the wards are taking advantage of that, or are we? No, okay. they haven't. So we can, we can put the <laughs> message out to, uh, to people out there at some of the other wards. So that would be fifth ward. So okay. right now we have dollars uh, in probably first, second, third, fourth then. Well, that, some or some of it would be designated. Yes, yeah, some of it has been okay. spent okay. Uh, from this last year, Ed. Okay, okay so, um, you know, we would be talking about for next year's budget probably right. at this point. Okay. Um, another project was at the Little League Diamond. Go ahead, yeah. O'Neill. Um, at the Little League Diamond, uh, right along 34, at the corner of 34 and Glasgow Road, uh, they did a planting of some shrubs in there uh, so that that's on the north side of the ballpark. Uh, that was last year's project. They're hoping to then this year also add in some more things actually around the buildings. Okay. They're continuing to expand the, the parking lot and so they've asked to also then do some more plantings in that area um, so that uh, perennial or right. things that will be there long term. Right. Um, and so they were going to use some of that money then the, the, the next year's uh, fiscal year dollars to upgrade that. We have the uh, state uh, Little League tournament here in July. Correct. And so they were hoping to get some of these plantings in place to make it look really nice and beautiful. Absolutely. So that we can bring them back again. Right. Right. So Excellent. it's another thing Fairfield's doing. And if great. we can help beautify that to, as you said, build on it and bring back, great. that would be great. Has your commission had any other discussions about either a tree or a flower that would be used as a theme for the city of Fairville? I remember when we first formed the commission, we, it was one of the natural things that came up first. Mm -hmm. And um, there's, everybody staked out their territory in terms of what flower they thought would be. Uh, but has, has, have you had any other discussions you know, about that's, that? No, um, we haven't had a discussion that's specifically, the no, no, we have not had a discussion specifically about that. Um, however, the Beautification Commission has been using roses mm -hmm. on our postcards, on our award signs that we give out, which, by the way, sure. is another thing that we've been doing um, this last year, and we're going to continue to do this year, is we give out these beautiful uh, signs that are made out of a stainless steel that were made by Creative Edge that have a rose and it says the Fairfield Beautification Award uh, and also I'm seeing a little card here mm -hmm. um, just so it happens yes. this is the uh, artwork that Susan Kessel gave us and we've made these little postcards that we send to people when they've done a great job um, so we have been using roses and we call this particular rose this particular award roses and thorns uh, of course we're all about the roses not about the, thorn, the thorns. The right. thorns just sort of come with the roses, unfortunately. Right. Um, but no, I, as far as anything further than that, we haven't done anything. Okay. I, I guess, see, you know, I hadn't really thought of it much myself since those initial discussions, but I have visited some cities where, with trees anyway, um, they didn't necessarily pick one tree, but they found that, that certain boulevards would be one tree and another another, so if there were several, that was a way of accommodating people that had interest in, in several different trees. We would love to see, we would love to see uh, more flowering trees, you know, throughout Fairfield. Right. Um, we would like to do a bulb program, uh, and that will be something that we will probably consider uh, this fall. 
so that we will have bulbs next year. Okay. Um, but you know, those we would love to see something. Great. Well, I think you're doing tremendous work. Uh, you really, really are. I'm, I'm very, very happy with this committee. I'm very proud of the things that you've done uh, in this first couple of years. And I know that. It really has been the efforts of a small group of people, but as this sustains itself and as the continuity of it continues, I think we're going to see more and more community involvement and probably really get to those kinds of decisions as a community, what we really want to establish for a long-term basis. And uh, also, it sounds like uh, you've got several years worth of uh, work ahead of you, so yes. um, I know that you're going to be busy. Really do appreciate your support and really do appreciate your time this afternoon for our Inside Fairfield program, and we look forward to all of the fruits of your beautification work this summer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hold the cold one like you hold the old gun, like you hold the microphone and start the show for fun. All fall from Manson, fools is handsome, O's in tandem, anthem, random, tantrum, phantom of the grand old opry, active, dumb, hottie, mass. Somebody stop me, hardly come sloppy on a retarded hard copy After rocking parties, he departed in a jalopy Watch the drop top pop, who known as the grimy, limey, slimy, try me, blimey Simply smashing in a fashion that's timely, madly dashing in a beat rhyme crime spree Who rock the house like rock and roll, got more soul in a sock with a hole Set the stage with a goal, to have the game locked in a cage, getting shocked with a pole Overthrow it like throwing over a biscuit